Hello, beautiful souls. This person might have brought up some jealousy issues in the past for you. They seem like someone who really pours their attention into multiple people and makes them feel special. Specifically, they might be attracted to both men and women. They might seem like someone in a really perfect position to you, admired and receiving a lot of attention from their relationships as a result. However, it seems like their desire to be in that position, to be loved and receive attention, is coming from a lot of underlying insecurities that lead them to overcompensate and seek a lot of external validation. This person's energy is messy. They seem really chaotic, and it's hard to get a good sense of what they are thinking. You might not even get a sense of how much is going on in this person's life. They seem really indecisive and disorganized because they have a whole lot to organize. It sounds like they are in a really overwhelming headspace, and at times, they end up giving up and just going with the flow because they don't have the emotional capacity to sort out everything that needs to be handled. I think you look at this person's life sometimes and wonder why they don't just get to it and start unpacking some stuff or sorting out what needs to be sorted out. I think this person is trying hard to hang on to whatever semblance of peace and slowness they can find in their hectic life. I imagine them as a kid with a lot of chaos and responsibility and not a lot of structure. As a child, they weren't able to really do anything about the state of their life. Now they are stuck in a similar mindset of helplessness and holding on to moments of childishness and fun from a place of lack. They feel like if they want to get serious, they would lose that sense of freedom and joy that they didn't get as a child. Rather than gaining more space for relaxed fun. Beautiful souls, thank you for your love and support. I am back with a new reading for all of you today, so without wasting much time. Let's get started with today's reading. It's about knowing if your person feels the same towards you as you feel towards them. You may be in passion with your individual, or on the other hand, you could have recently had an aftermath or a separation which has caused a sudden in-between between both of you. Be that as it may, here you are, thinking and questioning whether there is everything in the middle among you and your partner, or is there something still alive? So the response is everything is still alive. If you truly do share a profound soul association, nothing has come in between you and your individual. On a spiritual level, yes, things could have ended on the physical plane, since they should end as they were not wrapped in the strong bonds of love, trust, dedication, genuineness, respect, and honor. Anything that has a hint of duplicity or lies or jealousy or envy or control issues or possessiveness tends to dissolve suddenly in soul associations. From divine muscular, type yes if you believe. My beloved love. So essentially, assuming that I should respond to a question which was or is, that whether your individual feels towards you the same way you feel towards them, and then the response is yes. Assuming you are feeling the loss of your individual, your partner is missing you as well. Assuming you are in torment, they are in torment as well. Assuming you are angry about them, they are annoyed with themselves. They are resentful about the circumstance. If you want your individual back, your individual also wants you back. In any case, they might not show you, and they could try and do things that could seem as though it isn't even true that they want you back. But in reality, anything that you're going through, your individual is going through exactly the same things, similar circumstances, similar feelings. They are feeling, and they are in a similar perspective as you are when it comes to your association. Just the actual viewpoint will be unique. Assuming you've been recently inclined towards your individual, or on the other hand, if you're feeling drawn towards your individual physically, it's really coming from them. They are feeling the same way towards you. If you're feeling serious areas of strength for your individual, regardless of how much you try to divert yourself and focus on something different, or on the other hand, get going into different things, they are also experiencing a similar draw towards you, regardless of how they are attempting to divert themselves or decrease the power of the force, 
It's not working. It simply doesn't work entirely. There is no point in attempting to clutch something. If you are having dreams about your individual, they are having them as well. If you're seeing signs which point towards your individual, they are seeing them as well, which brings them towards you and your association. Assuming that you are attempting to focus on something different other than your individual, they are attempting to do that too. It's not dealing with both of your ends. Assuming your heart is yearning for your individual, their heart is yearning for you as well. If you cry over your individual at night or whenever you are alone to release those feelings, they cry over you as well. In any case, they won't show it. They might try and tell themselves that why even am I crying over something that I personally have abandoned or left? This could be you too. You could also be considering abandoning this and simply coming into separation. You may very well need to continue on with different things in your life. However, once again, you return to the signs, to the synchronicities too, the fantasies, to their names bringing up to a great extent over and over. From Divine Muscular, type yes if you believe.